Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields, and today is day 55 of our 100 Days of Knit Stitches. And today's stitch is called the um, Embossed Diamonds. And that is looking really neat. I thought I would do this stitch as kind of a simple mindless stitch after the last couple that we did. However, I have found that um, I need to keep track of each stitch on every row. And so it's not quite as mindless as I thought it was gonna be but uh, the outcome definitely outweighs that because this looks really nice. I really like this. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I am using size 11 needles with a 24 inch cable and I have cast on, you wanna cast on in multiples of 33 and I have cast on 33 stitches. So this is one swatch and that is quite a large swatch. Uh, I would say a good 12 inches. All right, so we've cast on 21 stitches and we're ready for, I'm gonna start with row one. I'm just gonna go through it so you can uh, go through it with me if you would like. Row one, we're gonna purl one, knit one, purl one, and then we're gonna start the repeat. So the repeat is knit three, purl one twice. So knit three, two, three, purl one. That was two times. Now we're gonna knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. And then we're going to repeat. So knit three, purl one once. Knit three, Purl one twice, and then knit one, purl one. Repeat, so knit three, purl one once, and knit three, purl one twice, and then knit one, purl one. Now we're ready for row two. And then that's the back side of the work, which is just opposite. A lot more purl stitches. All right, row two. Row two is purl one, knit one. We're gonna do that before we start the repeat. Purl one, knit one. Now we'll start the repeat. We're gonna purl three, one, two, three, and then we're gonna knit one, purl one, knit one, knit one, purl one, knit one, and then we're gonna purl three stitches, purl one, two, three, and then we're gonna knit one stitch, and that is our repeat. So we're gonna purl three, And then we're gonna knit one, purl one, knit one. And purl three. And knit one. Now I break them up into th sets of three on that one and then we have one stitch left at the end. So that helps me stay in the right pattern. So repeat, so we're gonna purl three. Knit, purl, knit. Purl three, knit one, and then we're gonna purl one, that last stitch on the end. All right, so now we're back to the front side. We're ready for row three. So row three, we're going to start with knit four stitches, which is not part of the repeat. All right, now we're gonna start the repeat. We're gonna purl one, knit one twice. So one, purl, knit twice. And then we're gonna purl one and knit five stitches. One, two, 
three, four, five. And then we're going to repeat. So purl one, knit one, twice. Purl, knit once. Purl, knit twice. Purl one, and then knit five. And then the last nine stitches, we're going to purl one, knit one twice. We're gonna stay in the same pattern, but we're only gonna have four stitches here at the end. So purl one, knit one, two, three, and four. Now we're ready for row four. So we're going to start with purl three stitches, which is not part of the repeat, purl three. Now we will start the repeat. So we're going to knit one, purl one, three times. So knit, purl once, knit, purl twice, knit, purl three times, and we're going to knit one and purl three stitches. That's the end of the repeat. Now we will start the repeat over. So knit one, purl one, three times. So knit, purl once, knit, purl twice, knit, purl three times. We're gonna knit one and oops, purl three. One, two, three. All right, now repeat. Knit one, purl one twice. So, or three times. There's one, two, three. Knit one and purl three stitches. Now, I don't know about you guys, but every time I get close to the end of the row, I hope that I have the right amount of stitches left. All right, now we are ready for row five. See that coming along very nicely. So uh, row five, is the same as row three. So row three, or row five technically. So we're gonna knit the first four stitches, which are is not part of the repeat. Then we're gonna purl one, knit one twice. Purl, knit once, purl, knit twice. Now we're gonna purl one and knit five. One, two, three, four, and five. That's the end of the repeat, so we're gonna start over. So purl one, knit one twice. Purl, knit once. Purl, knit twice. Purl one, and knit five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now start over. Purl one, knit one once, purl, knit twice, and then we're going to pur oops, purl one, and then knit the last four stitches. Two, three, and four. Yeah. All right, so now we're ready for row six, which is the same as row two. This is the back side of the work, so we're going to purl one, knit one, which is not part of the repeat. So starting the repeat, we're going to purl three. This is one where we're gonna work in sets of three. So we're gonna purl three stitches, and then we're gonna knit, purl, knit, purl three stitches, Purl one, two, three, and then knit that last stitch, and then start over on the repeat. So purl three, knit, purl, knit, purl three, oh. and then knit one, and then repeat. 
purl three. Knit, purl, knit, purl three. Knit one, and then purl the very last stitch. Oops. And purl the very last stitch. All right. So now that was row six. So row seven is the same as row one. So we're going to repeat row one now. So we're going to purl, knit, purl. Pearl knit pearl, not inside the uh, repeat. So that's before the repeat. So now we're ready to repeat. So we're going to knit three pearl one twice. Three pearl one once. Knit three pearl one twice. And then we're going to knit one pearl one. And we're going to repeat. So knit three pearl one twice. One, two, three, purl one once, knit three, purl, knit three, purl one twice, knit one, purl one, and repeat. Knit one, two, three, purl one once, knit one, two, three, Purl one twice and then knit one. Oops. And purl one. Alrighty. So that was row seven. So this is the back side. Now we're ready for row eight. And yes, I have to move my little paper around so that I can make sure that I am on the right row and I stay on the right row. It's really easy to. Uh, start knitting on the wrong row. So we're going to purl knit purl before we start our repeat. Purl knit purl. All right, so starting our repeat, we're going to knit one, purl five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to knit one, purl one twice. Knit, purl once, knit, purl twice. And then we're going to start over. So it's kind of a short repeat. Knit one, purl five. One, two, three, four, five. And then knit one, purl one twice. Oops. Knit, purl once, knit, purl twice. And repeat. Knit one, purl five. One, two, three, four, five. And knit one, purl one twice. And we have four stitches there at the end, so that's perfect. Now we're ready for row nine. So take a look at that so far. Looking very nice. Row nine. So before we get started on the repeat, we're going to purl one, knit one twice. So purl one, knit one once, purl one, knit one twice. And then we're going to start our repeat. So purl one, knit three, one, two, three, and then we're going to purl one, knit one, three times. So purl, knit one, purl, knit two, purl, knit three. And then we're going to repeat. So purl one, knit one, two, three. And then we're going to purl one, knit one, three times. Purl knit once, purl knit twice, purl knit three times. And when we get to the last nine stitches, it's a similar pattern. So we're going to purl one, knit three, 
and then we're going to purl one, knit one twice. Purl knit once, purl knit twice, and then we just have one purl stitch there at the end. All right, so now we're ready for row 10, which is the same as row eight. So we're going to purl knit purl the first three stitches before we start our repeat. Purl knit purl. All right, so starting our repeat is gonna be knit one, purl five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna knit one, purl one, twice. Knit, purl once, knit, purl twice. And then we're gonna start over. Knit one, purl five. One, two, three, four, five. And then knit one, purl one, twice. Knit, purl once, knit, purl twice. Then we're going to knit one, and purl five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, then move my yarn. Now we're gonna knit one, purl one, twice. Knit, purl, knit, oops, knit, purl. And that is the end of the repeat. So we we're gonna repeat rows one through 10 over and over again. And that is beautiful, very awesome. It does take thought process. However, that is awesome. That would make a beautiful baby blanket with um, a seed stitch border around it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's stitch and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.